Morning, uh, living like a boss here, July 9, 2021. This morning we're up to a little bit of a redneck operation here. I gotta uh, put uh, a new tire on my old case D. About 80 years old, the old tire. Well, probably it's not original, but it's gonna be probably 40 years old anyway. This blew out and it's totally rotten. Had to replace it. I managed to save the tube though, but the rim is in really hard shape. But and uh, it's been rotted because of fluid in the tire when they used to use ballast for weight or calcium chloride for weight. But here we have the, uh, and of course, got the dog and the cat in the picture. Here we have the darn uh, wheel here. I got it sitting on these boards and made some sort of a structure there for a bridging, compressed the tire onto the rim so I can fit that snap ring in there. You can see that it's bent, distorted, but we're going to put it, uh, take that uh, bridging all off there and put a little bit of air in the tube and force it up there against the ring, tap the ring in place and weld the damn thing on, call her good. But that's a little bit of a dangerous uh, thing. Split rims are notorious for coming apart, so I'm just going to use the welding there just to make sure it doesn't come off there. And it'll probably be on there for another, well, as long as I have the tractor, for sure. Maybe someday in the future, somebody will uh, source out a brand new rim for the, it need a pair of them, actually. Both sides are really bad shape. Uh, two years ago, this here is the uh, whole tractor there. We're going to get the wheel mounted on there today and have her sitting on, on the ground there. And, and she'll have all good rubber all the way around. This here wheel on the other side, I did this two or three years back. Did the same thing, totally rotted, blew out, uh, but it's, uh, the rim is in way nicer condition. I didn't have to weld it together, it snapped back together where it's supposed to be. But anyway, this is uh, what we're up to today, totally redneck. And uh, I usually say, uh, don't do this without a female supervision. But this is such a redneck operation here. You're kind of glad you don't have any female supervision here. Otherwise, it'd be shut down. Anyway, we will catch up to you later. Bye for now.